First of all, congratulations to someone out there for winning $1.3 billion in the Mega Millions Lotto. Did you boo or ooh? I don't know what that sound was. It's the biggest lottery payout ever to a single winner. And it's wild to me that we just gave a billion dollars to someone who has proven that they're bad with money. Why are you playing the lottery? <laughs> it's a terrible investment, unless you win. <laughs> now, because Illinois has a law allowing lottery winners to remain anonymous, we might never know who won this money. But I will say this, if your next door neighbor comes to your cookout in a private jet, it's probably them. <laughs> or Kylie Jenner, you never know. Meanwhile, in some shocking entertainment news, Beyonce isn't perfect. Oh. Yeah, uh, this is the part where the tomatoes hit me. I know, I know. <laughs> well, because this morning, um, Queen Bee said that she would remove the word spaz from one of her new songs because she didn't realize that it was ableist. And if you're having a bit of deja vu, it's because this comes just a few weeks later, right? A few weeks after, uh, Lizzo had to come out and say the same thing. She had to cut the same word from a song, which honestly must be so exciting for Lizzo. Right? Yeah, she's probably like, oh my God, Beyonce sampled my scandal! <laughs> this is so amazing. We should do a collab on like a no tap apology. We should do this. Oh, and there's another pop star in trouble. This is a crazy story. Shakira could be facing eight years in prison for tax fraud. Yeah, the Spanish government says that she dodged $17 million in taxes by pretending to live in the Bahamas when her real residence was in Barcelona, Bahamas, Barcelona. <laughs> so yeah, it turns out you cannot claim your residence as whenever, wherever. That doesn't work. <laughs> this is a good lesson for everybody here. And in labor news, in labor news, this was one of the weirdest stories ever. A Chick-fil-A in North Carolina got into trouble for asking for volunteers to work the drive through window, right? <laughs> and the reason it was volunteers is because instead of paying the workers, the restaurant said that it would give them five free meals for every one hour shift <laughs> that they worked. Yeah, and I will say it really does show you how good Chick-fil-A is because all of you paused for a second when I said this before getting angry. You're like, wait, would I? No, <laughs> no. Does it include the waffle fry? No, boo, boo. So that's what's going on, bunch of random things. But anyway, let's move on to some of the bigger news stories of the day, starting with an update on Joe Biden, the president whose approval rating is going through its own recession. As you all know, <laughs> the president had COVID and then recovered from it last week. But then, after testing negative, the White House doctor is reporting that Biden is now testing positive again with what they call a rebound infection. And it's definitely not the rebound Biden was hoping for, you know? <laughs> You're like, come on, Jack, I want to pause down the poll numbers. Rebound, you, you know what I mean? It's not a joke, man, come on. So anyway, the president is back in isolation again, but the White House says, don't worry, he's feeling fine and he will be working the entire time. Although many of his supporters might not love his new project. President Biden says work can resume on former President Trump's border wall. The White House wants four gaps in the fence to be filled in near Yuma, Arizona. We're told it's one of the busiest crossings for undocumented immigrants. It's another reversal of policy for the president who vowed not to add to his predecessor's efforts in any way on that project. There will not be another foot of wall constructed on my administration. That's right, there will be many feet of wall. Ha ha! Gotcha, 2024. But yes, it looks like Joe Biden is completing Donald Trump's unfinished business. So if I was Mike Pence right now, I'd be nervous as hell. <laughs> I'd be watching out. You know, you know what I also love, what I love about the story is how Fox doesn't know what to do with these kinds of stories, <laughs> right? Because they want the wall, but they also hate Joe Biden. You know, they're like, did you see what Biden is doing? Uh, uh, he, was, uh, he was against the wall, but now he's building it. I guess we have to vote for him? How does this work? <laughs> but you do have to admit, it is confusing, right? Because Biden, he spent, what, four years railing against the wall. He was like, this wall is fascist, it is racist, and it's un-American. And now we're gonna have it patched up in no time, folks. We're gonna fix up this wall. <laughs> we're gonna fix it all up. Now, okay, the reason, the reason the Biden administration gave for building Trump's wall in these sections of Arizona is because they're saying it's dangerous for migrants to cross the river there. 
right? And so they want to put up a wall to stop the people from crossing, which you have to admit is a little weird, because now they're saying that walls do stop people from crossing. <laughs> yeah, but they're only doing it here because they want to make it safer, right? Because the river's super dangerous. So they don't want people to try cross here. Other parts, I guess. <laughs> Although if you really wanted to make crossing a river safer, then why wouldn't you just build a bridge <laughs> instead of adding a wall? None of it makes sense. Yeah, none of it makes sense. You know why? You know why? Because it's bullshit. That's why. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't make sense. And look, I can't say it for certain, but it seems like the only reason they're building a wall in these sections is because these sections could affect Democratic Senator Mark Kelly, who's running for re-election in Arizona. And he's been pushing for these sections to be filled. Right? When you see it through that lens, it makes a lot more sense. Migrants sneaking into Arizona, uh, that's whatever. But Republicans sneaking into the Senate, you gotta shut that shit down. <laughs> And either way, either way, I hope this is one of those things that can bring America together. You know, this is one of those moments where people can unite, because when you think about it, Trump and Biden have more in common than we think. They both want the wall filled in. They both have shady sons, and they both have close companions who require annual rabies shots. It's a beautiful, <laughs> beautiful thing to see. Biden and Trump. Speaking of Trump, <laughs> the Tangerine Dream is back in the news <laughs> with yet another scandal because this is one of the wildest things ever. Because remember how his wife, Ivana, passed away, right? Really sad story, she passed away. Well, it turns out the Donald may have managed to turn even that into a scam. Ivana Trump, the first wife of President Trump, has been laid to rest in an unusual location, near the first hole at President Trump's golf club in Bedminster, New Jersey. The reason is unclear, but according to Insider, operating a cemetery on the golf course will allow President Trump to avoid paying taxes on the land. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. A lot of people say, I'll pay taxes over my dead body. Trump means it. <laughs> Just someone else's body. And even for him, this feels like a step too far. I don't care what anyone says. Like, I, I, I wouldn't even laugh at that as a joke. If someone said to me, Donald Trump's ex-wife died, he's probably gonna bury her on his golf course to save on taxes, I'd be like, yo, that's not cool, man. That's not cool. But it turns out Trump was like, wait, wait, say more, say more. <laughs> I'm gonna send this to my accountant, keep going. What this really shows you is how strange the tax system can be. Like, all this tax break does is incentivize you to be a weirdo. <laughs> Who came up with this? It almost feels like the law was written by a serial killer. It's just like, there should be a law that if you bury a body in your yard, you don't have to pay taxes anymore. <laughs> I was like, yeah, the, the senator whose enters keep disappearing makes a good point. The motion passes. Good point, good point. <laughs> it's ridiculous. All right, that's it for the headlines. But before we go to a break, it's time to check in on the weather forecast with our very own Desi Lydic, everybody! <laughs> Desi Lydic, good to see you, so... What's happening? What's happening? The weather has uh, calmed down a bit. What the, what's the weather looking like? Oh, man, it is all blue skies and sunshine for whoever won the 1.3 billion jackpot. I'll tell you that. God, I, uh, I wonder, who, wonder who she is. <laughs> I mean, it could be any of us, any of us in this room right now. One might even wonder why she came to work today. <laughs> Wait, are you, are you saying you won the lottery? No, I, I, look, I'm saying the winner has chosen to be anonymous. You know, in many ways, they're building a wall between them and us knowing. But uh, whoever she is, she probably has enough money to buy her boss a new car. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, so you, so you, you did win? You won the lottery, is that what you're saying? I don't know. I don't know. Did I, Trevor? Anyway, by the way, that Ivana story is so crazy. Right? Being laid to rest on his golf course. God, I feel for all of Trump's wives. I and mean, even in the afterlife, they still have to deal with his balls coming at them. <laughs> <laughs> the love of God, 
good. Let her rest. Although I will say tax moves like this are very, very common among the ultra wealthy. Something I've been reading up on recently for no particular reason. I bought an island, so anyway. <laughs> so you're saying that you did win the lottery. What's going on here? Did you win or not? What? No, that's Trevor. That's ridiculous. Although I will say I'm feeling very generous tonight, which is why I have a special announcement for the audience. Everyone in this audience, I am sending all of your kids to college. Yes. All of them. All of them. Even the underachievers. All of them. I'm talking room, board, iPads, the good drugs, all of it. Because, and maybe you saw this coming, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I have the winning ticket. Here it is right here. Right here, can we get a can we get a close up? <laughs> that is it. No, no. Boom. No, 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 no. Bam. No, don't don't cheer for that, Desi. That's that's not a that's not a real ticket. That is it. That is the real ticket, Trevor. It is absolutely a hundred percent real. You can tell because it says not fake. It is definitely real, and you're not going to blow this for me. So back me up here. I'm not the blowing ticket, anything. The, the winner is in. It's someone in Illinois. That's not. Yeah. Look, no, someone has to come forward. No one has come forward yet, so there's a window of opportunity. Look, I can cut you in on this if you just act cool. I'm not, it's not about acting, I'm not in. There's no acting cool, that thing, no one's gonna be fooled by that. Oh my God, come on, really? You're gonna do this to me? You're gonna do this to them, their children, Trevor? What? Oh, okay, fine, guess what, audience? None of your kids are going to college. Yeah, none no, of them. No. Because of this man right here. No. This man, don't be fooled by these dimples. He does not believe in dreams. He's a dream crusher. That makes no sense. You're the one who promised the thing. And yeah, by the way, Trevor, you are not invited to my island. Desi, you didn't actually buy an island. No, I actually did. It's amazing what you can buy with a credit card. Oh my God, I'm so <laughs> So much debt. I'm gonna have to see if Chick-fil-A is still hiring volunteers. <laughs> All right, Dizzy Lydic, everybody.